Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and we're, today we're, be, we're going to be taking a look at the Barnes Noble Bookseller Store, which is located in Dallas, Texas, at the Preston uh, Royal Shopping Center, which is located in the lovely neighborhood um, of Dallas, Preston Royal, uh, Texas, which is within Dallas, Texas. Unfortunately, uh, it was just announced today uh, that this Barnes Noble Bookseller store uh, would be closing by Sunday, May 13th, 2021. Uh, this particular Barnes Noble Bookseller store uh, opened up at the Preston Royal Shopping Center um, in the year of 2006, and this was when Barnes Noble um, was doing their uh, mid-2000s to early 2000s store layout. Obviously, a lot has changed since now and then, um, but I do kind of miss these stores being built. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this store is expected to shut down by the Sunday, so this is the final week of operation for the store. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot get access to the article on the, my computer. However, I'm going to read it off my phone. So, anyways, here we go. Barnes Noble has been president of Shopping Center Royal uh, Village for 15 years. Um, okay, hold on one second. I thought I had the article here. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. I really, I, I literally had the article here. I can't believe they actually did that to me. How, how? Okay, so hold on one second, guys. My apologies. I typically wouldn't do this. I really thought I had the article right in front of me. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to try something else. Hold on one second, guys. <sighs> this is nuts. Okay, here we go. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read the article. Barnes & Noble is closing in Preston Royal Village. Barnes & Noble is closing its store in Preston Royal Village after it was unable to reach a leasing agreement with its landlord, Endens, that, it that would allow the store to remain open. The store will close Sunday, the retailer said in an email, adding that it is looking for a location nearby. We have truly enjoyed serving serving our customers from this location for the past 15 years and appreciate their loyalty and support, Barnes Noble spokeswoman Amelia uh, Mertler said. However, we we were unfortunately unable to reach a commercial agreement with our with our landlord to keep this store open. The retailer says it will try to transfer the workers who want to stay with the company to other stores, and it's referring shoppers to its nearby stores at Preston Wood Center at 5301 Belt Line Road and across from North Park Center at 7700 West North Highway. Other st other area stores and online at bnn.com. Barnes Noble won the war over borders a decade ago and still has 600 stores across the United States, despite the competition from Amazon electronic reading devices. The chain has new owners and, ha it, it, and it isn't giving up. Two years ago, hedge fund Elliott Advisors bought the company for $638 million after buying British bookstore chain Waterstones the previous year. James Daunt, who was the CEO of the British chain, became, Barnes no became the CEO of the combined retailers based in New York. Last month, Barnes & Noble opened a new bookstore in Kirkland, Washington that has a new design and gives more control over the store to the local staff. It's a strategy Daunt used in England. We hope to reopen a new location as close as close as possible to this one, as we are doing with our newly designed stores in so many communities nationwide. Murner said, "We hope that one one will be back in the area before to, uh, area before too long." Barnes Noble exit follows the recent departure by Duggarty's Pharmacy, which has been in Preston Royal Village for more than 50 years. Edmonds, which owns which owned Preston Royal Village since 2014, has not responded to requests for information since Edmonds has. Own the center on the two northern corners of the intersection of Preston Road and Royal Lane. It has added a Shake Shack, an Isa's, Sir La Table, ba uh, Ballard Designs, and a Sephora. The Barnes Noble exit will leave the intersection without a bookstore. Interbanning Books moved <clears throat> to a new location on Lover's Lane after a tornado destroyed most of the southeast corner of the intersection in October of 2019. So, uh, it is quite sad, um, but obviously this is another one of those things where the landlord probably decided to raise the rent completely, and Barnes Noble was not willing to pay 
uh, the amount of money for it. And it doesn't surprise me either. I, I see this more as a market correction thing. I don't really necessarily think it's a, it's a way... Uh, for the bookstore in particular, I think it's really just market correction and Barnes and Noble um, getting the number of stores that they need to survive. Um, it is unfortunate. I do wish all the employees the best of luck on, on finding a new job. Um, I hope that some of them can transfer to the nearby stores. So hopefully they can do that. Or if they're going to take a severance package, you know, thank you for your service. Um, but yeah, this Barnes and Noble store will be closing for the final time on Sunday, uh, June thirteenth, two thousand and twenty-one. Um, and I will try and actually maybe call the store a little bit later on, so stay tuned for a video. That'll be coming a little bit later on tonight, uh, probably telling the same information, so I'll do that as well. Uh, but anyways, in the meantime, yeah, so Barnes Noble is officially closing um, at Preston Royal Center. It was announced this morning on an article, and all the people will be losing their job by this Sunday, so... And then I will link to the article too, but you guys do have to you do have to have a subscription. So for anybody living in, in the greater Dallas, Texas area, uh, this article will be free for you if you are subscribed to the uh, local local newspaper in Dallas, Texas. So, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.